Hi and welcome back to Warframe. To today, even we're going to take a look at the Anku, which is a new Sai weapon, Scythe weapon, and it's obtainable for either 225 platinum from the market, or the blueprint for this is within the dojo. It's inside of the Tenno Lab. Since its release, it has been changed. The aura polarity has been set up for stalking fan, and it's gone even better because. A V polarity has found its way into this weapon, which means when you first start off, even without a catalyst in this thing, you can easily drop in point blank. Uh, I said point blank again. No. <laughs> Pressure point, because that gives you 10 points. That only takes up nine, so instantly the damage is upgraded quite a bit. Comparing it to the Reaper Prime here, it does more slash damage, but the Anku is a puncture based weapon so obviously it annihilates it on puncture and it even has a little bit more impact so it's actually better it has more status chance well sorry it has less status chance by 2% but it does have twice as much crit which is nice of course not really sure if the Ether Reaper is classed as a scythe weapon but it's still better on everything apart from status and I'm actually looking for the Dread, but um, I seem to have a slight technical, that's not called the Dread, is it? Oh god, it's called the Hate. Ah, oh, what an idiot. Even compared to the Hate, it is, of course, it's still a puncture weapon, so it annihilates it on puncture, impact. Slash is down a bit, status is down a bit, but everything else is better, including the crit chance which again is double what the actual one is the hate wow I want to compare it against the camera but the camera is just it is nothing compared to this but the camera is really a much much smaller weapon even the ju the new one the jewel riser right, here little bit better apart from that obviously has much more crit multiplier and they do share the same uh, damage so all in all this thing is instantly looking quite nice that is just I've got absolutely no excuse for that I should really have been doing this with uh, somebody else but I was in here scanning the new targets so I thought well why don't we continue on now the combos for it are actually a bit of, bit of a pain to pull off properly. I'm channeling. That was pretty much it right there. That, that is, well that there's two of them, there was that one and that one. There is a third, or there should be I should say, but I, I just... I cannot get it to do it. Uh, and I don't know why. I could that was, that could have been it. <laughs> but I mean, obviously, throwing Berserker in this helps a hell of a lot. It actually makes it quite an insane little weapon. Uh, nope, nope, nope. I'm not falling in this time. Give me some enemies. Come on, there was loads of them. They killed us and. Oh, that's why I died. I've got the um, stealth build on. But I mean, if I've got Berserker on this because of the crit, and it actually increases fire rate quite dramatically. That is... <laughs> Considering this is not exactly the quickest weapon in the world, yeah, that is some in huge increase. Obviously with Fury, um, I died again. I'm probably going to die a lot because I've come in here with completely the wrong build for actually using a melee weapon. But luckily they locked the door for us, so... But yeah, that's with Spoiled Strike, Fury and Pressure Point in there, as well as the Crit... Uh, True Steel, is it? The Crit Multiplier? Not the Crit Damage Multiplier, the Crit Chance Multiplier. And I did put on viral using. I did. I forgot again to max out the uh, elemental damage on. I have on this. Yeah, let me the hell out of here. I'm gonna die so many times. What the? 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> I nearly forgot about that. Yeah, this is just, I've come in with the wrong build on the frame to actually use a melee weapon. That's the only reason I'm dying, because I've got a max health and max shield of pretty much nothing. But even with that, I mean, this thing is still a lot of fun to use. And I was actually using it in a void mission earlier, which I really wish I'd recorded some of, because it would did like a, was it 60 minutes? Uh in a tower too and the enemies were level 101 and this thing was it wasn't killing them really quickly but it was still dealing a lot more damage than I honestly expected it to I hate the flying guys they can be such a pain sometimes so when it comes to asking the question is it worth building this melee weapon is it worth picking up this melee weapon however you go around personally getting your hands on these weapons yes this is a hate killer and by hate i literally mean the hate weapon that just it annihilates it when it comes to actual damage it does because it has the higher crit chance as well the fire rate when berserker kicks in if you have berserker to put on it is nuts and obviously the quicker you can swing it the more people you can kill and i just got myself cornered in a horrible little room didn't i and saved only due to the fact that it has higher crit and the berserker mod increased fire rate it's not really good for coptering with i will say that but everything else it seems really nice i think i will run with this for a little bit probably drop a former in it it does not ah damn it it does not need a former that should be said right now Oh, I've got to go down. Um, God damn it. It doesn't need a former simply be... Oh yeah, that was from earlier. Simply because it comes with a polarity. And most melee weapons, you can get away with putting extremely powerful builds on without dropping former in. So, we'll leave this off here for now. I seem to have killed everything. That's a bit of it. Oh, it's gas. So yes, this weapon is definitely worth building. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Enemies!